I've got over a billion diamonds worth of global event gift bags, and today we're opening every single one to see if we can score the huge lunar moth. But here's the catch. If I don't open up the huge lunar moth, I have to give away everything that I get from opening these. Meaning, if I somehow manage to still make a profit without opening the huge lunar moth, I still have to give everything that I open away. I have spent the past 24 hours going through each and every trading plaza looking for these global event gift bags and I think I'm finally ready to see if I can get this huge or not. I'm also going to be keeping track of the value of the items that I do get so we can figure out the average value that you guys could get from opening these. Now, while I don't want to give away all of this loot that I get from this opening, I will be giving away a huge to one of you guys every single day this month over on my Discord. So make sure you're in there and entering the giveaways every single day. Even if I end up having to give everything away, this opening is going to be a lot of fun. So let's get right into it. Now, this video is going to be a ton of fun because these global gifts are probably one of the most fun gambling items in the game currently. And the reason why these things are so fun to open is because the loot pool for them is really good. You can get some of the best items in the game from opening them. And on top of those items, you also get that rare chance at one of these huge lunar moths. So it has that super risky appeal as well. And the cherry on top of all of that is that these gifts are extremely cheap right now. Just last week, these gifts were actually selling for over 10 million diamonds. Now, just a week later, these things are selling pretty easily for just 2 million. Now, this is because big games actually made it a whole lot easier to grind the global event for this clan battle. If we click here, we can see that every quest pretty much only just tells you to collect prison keys, which people are doing anyways while grinding for this battle. And because of that, people are able to get a ton of these gifts for free, and that's why the price of it has gone so far down. I'm not complaining though, because these things are so fun to open, and we're going to be able to open so much more of them because of how much cheaper they are. This also might just be our last chance to open these for a while because the only reason they're selling for so cheap is because of the current clan battle. So when this clan battle is over, it probably will be pretty hard to get these gifts once again. You can get stuff like tier nine enchants, the rarest charms in the game, the chest spell ultimate, and then obviously that rare chance at one of these huge lunar moths. As you can see, there's a 35% chance to get up to 150K on each roll of this gift, which means that we should at least be getting a decent amount of raw diamonds back from opening this which is why i went ahead and cleared out my diamonds cleared out my potions enchants items everything so we can know exactly how much value we get from opening these gift bags now if we can open the rainbow or the shiny version of this huge lunar moth that is selling for upwards of 2 billion diamonds meaning that we can pretty much double our investment all right, so I was taking a further look at what the chances of the huge lunar moth are, and it actually seems like the odds are quite higher than I thought. So we're going to change up the rules of this challenge a little bit. Instead, we're going to make it so I have to open two huge lunar moths or else I have to give everything away. Hopefully this challenge makes it a little more fair, but this is risky. Now I'm doing this video instead of this challenge that I got on my last opening video because the top comment was just too impossible to do. I did the math here and it would take me over 96,000 of the 1x eggs who make a billion diamonds in value. Now I'm all for a challenge, but there is just not that many eggs in existence. And by the time I would have farmed that many, the new pet simulator game would probably have been out by then. So hopefully this challenge makes up for that. But if this video does get a thousand likes, I'll do whatever the most realistic top comment is on this video and open a billion diamonds worth of it. And if it's a somewhat profitable opening, I will be giving away some stuff from that too. That was a lot of yapping though, but let's get right into opening these. I'm just gonna start opening them because we have over 500 of these and this could take forever. So off the bat, we're gonna get a ton of these diamonds, which I don't mind at all. A lot of keys too. The keys are actually really good right now. I'll actually probably have a video this week on me opening some of the other chests because stuff like the crystal chest and the tech chest are doing really good right now and you can get a ton of huges from opening them. I'm gonna try to spam open some of them and let's just look at how cool some of the stuff that you get is. Just look at all these diamonds that we're getting, ENT charms, keys, other gift bags. No huge quite yet though. Let's keep going. 
we are already at 16 million diamonds and remember that we paid 2 million diamonds for each of these bags so every time that we open eight of these that is 16 million right there so we're definitely not going to make all of our diamonds right back from opening them but hopefully we could just get that rainbow lunar moth and make up for all of it like you can <laughs> you can barely even see what i'm getting there's so much stuff coming at me each of these bags that you open is 10 rolls each, so you get a very high chance to get something really good. All right, so we're just going under 500 gifts now. We haven't gotten anything too crazy quite yet. Now, I'm not sure why I changed this challenge to have to open two of these things. Hopefully that wasn't a mistake because we haven't gotten one yet. Now, all of the lucky egg potions and enchants that we're getting from this are actually worth a ton in wrap value because getting stat pets is so important in this game. So every time we get something that is lucky eggs in terms of potions or enchants, that's actually worth a lot. Like those potions right there were worth like 300k each and those were the low tier ones. Hopefully we could get this huge soon because we need two of them. So we can definitely not wait till the very last minute to get this huge or we're going to be in deep trouble. That chest spell ultimate is actually rarer than the shiny version of the huge lunar moth. So I doubt that we actually get it, but that would be absolutely insane. Guys, I don't even remember how many gifts we started with, but let's just look at some of the stuff we got because some of these enchants are crazy. Like this Lucky Eggs 9 book is actually 2.25 million. This right here pays for one gift bag in itself. These treasure hunter books are like over a mil each. Six mil worth of all of these lucky egg 10 potions. Two mil worth of the lucky nine. Six mil worth of the lucky egg eight. We have so many of these things. And then on top of that, we have like 15 million worth of these keys. And then all of these mini chests, which if you watched my mini chest opening, you know these things are worth a lot more than 32K. I forget the exact number, but it's something more like 45K. So we're definitely going to be opening these afterwards. So that's going to make us even more money. Let's keep opening though. No more delay. I don't want to make the actual opening part of this video too much. I just want to get this huge lunar ma. Oh, wait, did you guys see that? We actually got a royalty charm there. That's really good. I definitely need those actually because I'm starting to put them on my huges finally. I'm actually probably going to have a charm video out this week. Lately, I've actually been doing a deep dive into looking at what the best charm setups are. So I think I actually have some very useful information that I could share with you guys. So I can definitely use that royalty charm. <laughs> Wait a second. We actually have two of them. I didn't even see the first one we got. So that's awesome. 13 mil worth of just these two charms is insane. Let's keep going. We still have 400 more of these gift bags. That's actually crazy. I'm going to open up 24 at a time right here. Let's see what we can get. Hard to find an angle where you can actually like see what's coming out of the gifts. All these items are popping up everywhere. I have friends who have gotten the huge lunar moth in like the first 10 bags of these. So we're over 200 of them in and we have not seen a single one. It's really starting to look like I'm going to have to give you guys all of this stuff because we are getting none of the huges yet. I'm not giving up faith. We still have like 300 of these. So I might be freaking out over nothing, but we need our luck to change real soon. All right. So this is just not going well. We need to change the scenery. Let's actually head over to the prison world. I feel like this little area is just unlucky for us. Look at all these guys opening eggs over here. Let's do it right next to them. Hopefully some of their luck will rub off on us and we can get some of them. Oh, we got another royalty charm. I almost missed that one, actually. That's really good. Definitely take as many royalty charms as we can. Just one royalty charm pays for like three of these gift bags. So that's awesome. But we're definitely going to be needing more than that if we want to get anywhere close to breaking even. I just noticed we actually just hit 100 million in raw diamonds. So that's really good. At least we do get some raw diamonds back so we don't have to go ahead and sell actually everything that we get i actually got a genius idea guys we're gonna go over to preston's cell free him from his cell and then hopefully he will give us some more luck with these openings let me open the chest to clear some room in here and let's keep opening these up and see what we can get we got neji here too helping us with preston hopefully we can get these right now all right neji was no help and he left so we're gonna keep opening these we need the huge lunar moth right now i think we're over 250 bags at this point and we have not seen the lunar moth yet preston give us the moth please i don't want to give all this stuff away this is preston's last shot to give me the huge or i'm gonna lose faith in him forever 
All right, so we're gonna head over. Let's go to a different area. Actually, yeah, let's go to the basketball hoops. This might be what we need. Keep opening. We have only 200 of these left and we haven't got a Lunar Moth yet. These things build up so much suspense. Right at the end, one of them always takes forever to give you the last stuff. And I always think the huge is just gonna pop out of nowhere. Like this one, like why does it take so long for that one to give items? I actually saw a theory earlier. Somebody was talking in my Discord saying that opening them one at a time gives you a lot more luck. So we're gonna test that theory out. We'll open like maybe three or four. Hopefully that helps us out. This one did not help us out at all. Maybe the four at a time is the sweet spot for opening these because this is not treating me well at all. Let's open, let's do four. At least when we do four, we could see pretty much everything that's coming to us and we can actually see if the oh my god the gold one no way we actually got a gold lunar month oh my god 352 million four is the sweet spot open four of these at a time that's what you need to do oh my gosh no way we actually got we actually got a gold version i was not expecting that that actually looks sick that surprised me so much i guess opening four at a time is really the move with this the video is not over though let's keep opening these up i'm gonna leave him behind me and open hopefully he gets me some luck remember we need to get a second huge looter moth in order to not give everything away here we are not out of the water just yet let's keep going i'm gonna keep opening up four at a time because that works so well for us look he's so fat he's blocking all the items we might actually need to move him oh an overload charm the overload charm is worth eight million diamonds and that's like four of these gift bags so that's awesome right there that just paid for all four of those that we just opened let's keep going i'm actually gonna put him away because he's blocking too much of the view let's do the same thing and hopefully we can get this huge lunar mod all right so we have about 125 of these left i've been opening them four at a time we've not gotten another huge yet but i don't want to show you every single one of these gift bags that i open believe it or not i don't like to string out these videos too much even though y'all like to complain that i yap too much these recordings are much longer than the edited down versions that i send out to you guys if i didn't cut out some of this yapping these videos would be like over an hour long at least i don't know what it is about these global event gift bags but these things are just so fun just watching all of these diamonds rain in is just like so satisfying to watch for some reason like opening gift bags charm stones all of that stuff has no cool animation at all and it's just super boring but at least with these ones you get to watch them open plus you get that chance at one of these huges which could be very valuable all right so after these four we have 74 of these gift bags left so that's like 150 million worth of gift bags we could definitely use another huge right now we are cutting it really close let's just get a second huge moth please just right now we need it so badly oh we got it wait oh my god i thought it was i thought it was actually rainbow the whole time i swear from that angle we were looking at it it looked like it was a rainbow guys you guys don't understand that thing would have been worth two billion if it was rainbow all right that is really ungrateful but yes we finally got the second lunar moth we were cutting it so close there i was so nervous that i was gonna have to give all of this stuff away so if we go in our inventory we got this huge lunar moth so this regular one and then we got this golden one as well the golden one is currently 352 million and the regular one's 139 million so totaling those two up alone that's just like 500 million of our diamonds back so that is really good the opening is not over though i'm gonna keep going four at a time hopefully we can get one more that would be absolutely insane if we get one more huge lunar moth from this opening i'll give away the regular one to somebody in the comment section of this video i'm gonna open these last six that we have one by one hopefully we can get this huge moth the opening is not over we could definitely still get one more hopefully a shiny one all right our second to last gift this isn't the end we could get one right now all right you guys and the final global gift let's open it up click on it hopefully that'll give us some luck give us one more moth all right so unluckily for you guys i did get the two huge lunar moths that i said i needed in order to not have to give everything away but it was a very close call behind us you can see these are the two moths that we did get these are some pretty cool huges but really quickly i'm gonna put everything in a box so we could figure out how much value all of the stuff that we got is because we got a ton of very high tier enchantments 
high tier potions and a bunch of items royalty charms overload charms we got a lot let me just put everything in a box and see for sure all right so i put everything in the box except for the two huges so let's just see what the value of the items are off the bat just from the items we got around 305 million worth of value so if we combine this with the 175 million diamonds raw that we got back that's going to be around just 480 million diamonds not including the luck that we got from opening those huges now we can put the huges in the box so i'm gonna add these to the box and see what the value would have been then and even with these two huges one gold and one regular the value of the box is just under 800 million which means we basically just reached like a billion in value now i feel bad that we weren't able to give anything away for this video so i will be giving away just 50 million of these diamonds to one of you guys who comments your roblox username and something nice down in the comment section below honestly either way i had a ton of fun opening those global gifts and i probably will keep opening them as i get them and if i find them for a good deal it seems like your ability to make profit is just solely based on how lucky you get with the huges from what i've heard of people actually opening these things though i think i actually got pretty unlucky with these gifts so if you have better luck than me you might actually be able to make a good profit by opening these either way though remember to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out